Franchising and Valorant created super teams. And in this video, we're diving into Fracture to break down what happens when two of these super teams collide. Welcome to 100 Thieves vs Cloud9 from the Red Bull Homegrounds Tournament Grand Finals. But first, I want to quickly show you something that you might find useful from our sponsor, Valorant Tracker. The new episode just dropped. Bind and Breeze are out, Split and Lotus are in. It's time to forget old maps and learn new ones. But I know you're impatient and you want to rank up now. So let me tell you how you can accelerate this learning process. First, you want to download Valorant Tracker using my link in the description below. Next, go to the Maps tab. This is a gold mine of stats that will tell you everything you need to know about your performance based on each map. Which map are you the best at? Which ones do you need to spend more time working on? Are you better at attack or defense? How does each map affect your individual performance? The Maps tab will help you answer all those questions and more. So what are you waiting for? Download Valon Tracker for free using my link in the description below. Cloud9 opened with 2 north spawn and 3 south spawn. Fracture, why must he have 2 attacker spawns? Cloud9's got a plan. Zeppa's gonna fade eye dish, make it seem like Cloud9 are working dish to A. But in reality, the 3 players south spawn are going to silently walk a B main for a B hit. A simple misdirection strat for the pistol round. 100 Thieves open with 2 B heaven, 1 rope, and 2 dish. Their game plan is to aggress dish for map control and info. Derek is gonna make sure his team doesn't get flanked from A main or sand. On B, 100 Thieves are doubled up heaven, but this is actually a bait setup. Cryo has his chamber TP set up heaven and spawn. He's gonna take first contact before TPing away. When that happens, Cloud9 might not expect Bang to also be in heaven, and hopefully that'll set up Bang to pop off. And yes, this game's on the old patch before chamber's TP got changed. So both sides coincidentally have a game plan centered around Dish and B. Let's see what happens when these strats collide. The barriers drop, Cloud9 quickly scale up B main. At Dish, Zeppa throws a fade eye but it gets instantly broken. Stellar throws a deep kill knife and it scans Zeppa. Zeppa decides to back off. His job is done, dish presence established. Cloud9's B main players are pushed up. They're ready to enter phase 2 of the plan, the B execute. But 100 Thieves' game sense is tingling. They have a hunch that dish is actually the weak side of Cloud9's default, so they call to double push dish. Does catch one player in the form of Zeppa early on, so they know that they're sort of spread out across the map. Zeppa knows 100 Thieves could be pushed up arcade, so a fade prowler's bench to clear it. The prowler sees nothing. The B main execute begins. The B site looks like the point of call and two players up above in the tower might make it a little bit more difficult. It's always tough. And Ye gets timinged and taken down. Already finding the luck of Ye. Yeah, just a slightly different timing than they were expecting if that push was to come through and it's caught them off guard. Leaf does well to recover, but you never expect a second player up there. This time around, bang, has to be pressured from all angles and they'll deal with him. No 4K for him in this pistol as 100 Thieves come back into a 3v3. Yeah, they did very well to clear that out. Get the off the bomb down it's always going to be difficult on this b side of the map but they've all been caught by the knife bar zeppa he's trying to watch them on the cross vanity though hiding within his own smoke and the pistol round goes the way of c9 100 thieves run onto site one by one and one by one cloud nine happily picks them off pistol round goes to cloud nine Oh ho ho, look at this. 100 Thieves lost pistol round, but called to force spy. Their weaponry is still overall a bit worse than Cloud9's, but this gives them an actual chance to upset this round and stop Cloud9's economy from snowballing. But high reward comes with high risk. If 100 Thieves lose this round, they're going to be completely broke and Cloud9's economy will actually begin snowballing out of control. This is a vital round for both sides. Cloud9 start with 2 north spawn and 3 south spawn. They want to default towards dish and use that noise as misdirection to cover up a B hit through B main. Same strat as last round. 100 Thieves open with 2 towards B and 3A. But this is a different setup than their pistol round. 100 Thieves are prioritizing a main control this round. And since their B side is weaker, they want to play a bit more passively there. But that doesn't mean they won't pretend they're strong towards B. You'll see what I mean in a second. The barriers drop, Cloud9 scale up B main. Stellar throws a kill knife B main and bang omen smokes out in the open. This knife gets early info deep B main and the smoke helps 100 Thieves maintain control of this area, threatening the possibility that they could be pushed up in these close angles or pitching arcade from sewers. Cloud9 won't know if 100 Thieves are actually pushed up or not, so they'll need to either wait out the smoke or invest precious util to clear the close corners. The knife comes, Leaf breaks the knife, then he charges up, getting past the smoke before 400 Thieves have a time to take the space. Leaf sees nothing peeking from B. Remember, he can swing so confidently because he thinks 100 Thieves are saving. 
they're not. Meanwhile, towards the north side, Ye and Zeppa double up, ready to fight Dish together. Zeppa fade eyes Dish, the eye sees nothing, so he scales up to take the space. Zeppa then prowlers close, the prowler sees nothing. He can hear the trip though, so Clown Eye now know that 100 Thieves are doing a setup that leaves Dish open. Since Leaf sees no one picking them B main, Clown Nine have a read that 100 Thieves are probably either stacked A main and playing retake, or that they're heavy arcade. So they call to instantly execute B through B main. And it, it's not even like they're going for some sort of risky stack. That's a perfect flash, though. Beautiful counter flash from Bang. He also saw a raised aid and a breach stun while he was gunning down Vanity. Two more Cloud9 players in B main. At this exact time, Zeppa breaks 100 Thieves' chamber trip at Dish. So 100 Thieves know that right now, Cloud9 have two players B main and one drop. So they call to immediately push A main. Fantastic response. Well, that's your controller now. Yeah, Vanity's blitz smokes can be good, but... They see nothing south spawn. Meanwhile, Cloud9 caught a cut noise. They regroup 2B main and 2 arcade. They're about to re-hit B with a B split. And Bang is alone on sight. But Cloud9 need to move fast. 100 Thieves A main flank is closing in. Flash correctly in the hands of someone like Bang after last map. It is a scary thought. Now look, he's already found the first. And the weapons aren't at that much of a disadvantage here for 100 Thieves. And in a close range fight, Bang comes ahead. That's two kills for him. And he's dealing damage to Yang. Cryo finishes. This could be a disaster. Huge round from 100 Thieves. Bang anchored down heaven like a god. Getting two solo kills and delaying enough time for 100 Thieves triple flank to come in and clean up. An incredibly beautiful round from 100 Thieves and especially well played from Bang. So the observers spend a bit too long replaying the players staring at their screens and because of that we're 3 seconds in and without any time in the pre-round. But no worries, we can work with this. So because Under Thieves 4 spot last round and actually won, the economy is in a wacky spot. Cloud9 are broke right now, so they're all full saving except for Ye who's hero buying a rifle. I mean, not gonna lie, if I was Cloud9, I'd trust Ye with my dwindling savings too. As for 100 Thieves, they're buying as much as they can, which means they now have 3 specters, a stinger, and a rifle. What are the setups? Cloud9 is opening this round with 4 north spawn in Ye solo B main. Remember, Ye is the only one on Cloud9 with a rifle, so the four players with pistols are playing together so they have numbers to make up for their weaker weapons while Ye is working the map alone with his rifle. Cloud9 are calling to execute B again, except this time, they're going heavy arcade. As for 100 Thieves, they open with 2B and 3A like usual. They want to lock down A main control with three players, and so they have a chamber trip holding Dish again. On B, Stella's playing on site. Bang is changing it up and playing top gen. This position top gen is one that catches a ton of people off guard. It's also a position that will require you to take long range fights. 100 Thieves know this too, so that's why they gave Bang their only rifle. Or maybe they just gave him the rifle as a reward for popping off last round. Who knows? The round starts, Zeppa fade eyes dish. The eye sees nothing, but it's okay. The purpose of the eye is to show presence towards A, so the B hit isn't as obvious. But keep in mind, 100 Thieves don't need to respond to the eye since they have a chamber trip holding dish. From B heaven, Stella throws a kale knife lineup all the way to A main. The knife scans nothing. 100 Thieves have full control of A main. Asuna grabs a free all orb while his teammates post up with them. Then they all begin pushing A main together. They're like, I mean, if Cloud9 are offering us free space, I guess we'll take it. Back in arcade, Cloud9 are all grouped and they begin walking up. They brimstoke the cross to deny info. Responded by Bang's triple. <laughs> as they get the round up, 100 Thieves oh, now almost- Leaf thought he had a timing, but gets caught by Bang. Off that pick, 100 Thieves speed up their flank. Cautious. He checked it just in time, a quick blitz right down through A main. We've seen this in just the previous round, but the pace has certainly been picked up. Ye is forced back to sewers. He paths that way, so he's cutting towards his team. Cloud9 knows under Thieves are fast flanking, so their arcade players begin their execute. Stellar alone on site. Underneath the B site, Stellar up above, hears the steps, gets blinded, and he is under a lot of pressure right now. All they're missing is that A main pincer, but it doesn't come through. Oh, this is a bit of a disaster. If you're a C9 fan, you're left with Ye. Well, he's taken down. He had the Vandal. I thought that would have been the chance, but a quick headshot pretty much closes the round. And 100 Thieves shut down Cloud9. That was so well played by Stellar and 100 Thieves. Stellar took contact heaven. He knew he was getting heavily pushed. So 100 Thieves sped up their flank and came onto sight. Stellar backed off to regroup with his team. They triple posted up. So when Cloud9 tried to come out of heaven, a lethal firing squad was waiting for them. And then 100 Thieves ran with the momentum to close out the round. Remember how Ye hero bought a rifle this round? Yeah, 100 Thieves made sure to loot that from his body. Thank you.
Both teams have basically full buys. It's a first gun run of the game. Cloud9 opened with 4 arcade. Ye is going south spawn to B main. They want to do a fast B execute through arcade. This is similar to last round, except they're not sending anyone dish at the start. This way, they can have everyone starting arcade to hit B at a faster tempo. As for 100 Thieves, they opened the game with 2B and 3 towards A. Their A players are doubled up sand with cryo opping on site. Their 2B players are playing on site. This could be scary for them because Vanity has its brim ult. 100 Thieves won't have much room on site to work with once that brim ult comes lasering down. The barriers drop, Cloud9 storm into arcade. Arcade control secured, dropping site smokes. They scale up heaven, brim ult comes out. But wait, Leaf's in the ult! He can't get out! <laughs> Team kill coming in from Vanity. A bit before Leaf turned into fried chicken, Stellar and Bang on site hear and see all that util. They instantly recognize it's an arcade heavy B execute. In response, Bang smokes B main and plays into smoke, looking to isolate a 1v1 with a player that's late B main. Stellar knows he's going to get run over if he plays on site, so he looks for a fight arcade. Here, you're gonna have an orbital strike right off the rip. It's caught Leaf! He finds a kill. Wait, Asuna killed Ye on the other side of the map. What happened there? The round starts, Stellar throws his cross map KO knife A main. The knife scans nothing, so Asuna grabs a free ult orb. At this time, Cloud9 are exploding on a B with all their util and brim ult. Asuna knows this, he wants to get a fast flank timing. Derek flashes spawn and Asuna doubles hatchels out. Asuna takes down Ye, 5v2 now in favor of 100 Thieves. Cloud9 only have heaven control now, they need to take a fight before 100 Thieves all group up. They took down their own player and 100 Thieves keep following up with more kills! Oh, C9! And 100 Thieves shut down Cloud9 to take Take the first gun round of the game. This round from start to finish only lasted 22 seconds. Cloud9 take a timeout. Cloud9's like, okay guys, clearly rushing B isn't working. Let's slow it down, maybe work some aiming control since Sundra Thieves seem to always get horny and flank from there. Cloud9 opening with a wide default. One player holding each part of the map, two holding A main. 100 Thieves opening with a different setup this round. They have three towards B now and two towards A. This is a very different opening from both teams. Let's see how this plays out. On B, Derek stuns Arcade. He's faking Arcade aggression when the actual play is B main. 100 Thieves smoke off. Okay, surely there's a call out for this, right? Tree. Whatever, this will do for now. 100 Thieves smoke off tree, then they silently walk up. This close B main space is theirs. On the A side, Zeppa fade eyes dish. It gets instant broken by Asuna. Stellar KO knives A main. Cloud9 dodges a knife. It doesn't matter because Stellar's plan was never to fight A main. It was to show presence A main first before doubling up dish with Asuna. Cloud9's north side players take the rope to regroup south side. That's a tongue twister. 100 Thieves are walked out B main and aggressively positioned. Bang is playing close. Cryo is playing sewers with his op. Derek's on site with his breach util out, ready to to support through the wall. Cloud9 want to work back a main control together. They prowl her up, the prowl clears the close angles. At this exact time, the tree smoke fades. Using the smoke of Bang to get him into a position, but it also sets up Cryo as well to have an even nastier spot. I will say the round they're doing- Cryo takes down Leaf. Cloud9 tries to rotate to help, but before they can even get there, under these have already vanished like the wind. Bang omen out to reposition on the site. Cloud9 are now a bit unsure of what to do. Ye is lurked up A main though, so Cloud9 calls it end day. Zelsus brings the spike towards A main. Zeppa and Vanity lingers B main for a bit to keep making noise. In fact, he has from the shadows, it means it's nowhere near as much of a risk. And obviously we know that Cryo a lot of the time can TP out of here. Cryo dodges Zeppa's fade eye. On A, Stellar jiggles A main from top sight. He spots Ye. He knives A main in response. Ye dodges a knife, but Zelsus gets scanned. 100 Thieves now know two Cloud9 players are close A main. 100 Thieves also peeks and sees nothing on the B side. They recognize it's going to be an A hit, so everyone starts shifting B. Cloud9 need to execute fast before 100 Thieves complete the rotation. Sight is where C9 are now focused up on. Weak weapons across the board, you really can't expect much, and the number's not in their favor anymore as 100 Thieves make the read. Oh, he's gonna throw in a showstopper, and it seems like they're putting everything into this round in an absolute whitewash. And 100 Thieves flawlessly dismantles Cloud9. They look absolutely dominant right now. Cloud9's back on a full buy. They open with a B main heavy default. 3 towards B main, 2 holding pushes north side. 100 Thieves open with 3 B main and 2 A. They have momentum, they're feeling it. They want to keep on the pressure and make an explosive play B main. Applied. Better safe than sorry. Pop the show stuff. One for one trade. Zelsus actually breached flash B main off the start to prevent an 100 Thieves push. But because Asuna double satcheled out, he actually flew past the flash and wasn't blinded. Catching Leaf completely off guard. Cloud9 was able to instantly 
instantly trade the kill though, equalizing the numbers. Zelsa stuns B main, pushing 100 Thieves back and taking back B main control for Cloud9, banging smokes off B main in response. While all this was happening, Zeppa was working arcade alone. He fades eye, the eye sees nothing. He prowls under heaven, the prowler catches nothing. 100 Thieves know that they could be getting split on, so Bang and Stellar both turn their attention to arcade. Arcade is quiet, so Bang turns to play in his smoke. The round slows down. Zelsa walks under sewers to regroup with Zeppa. The rest of Cloud9 continue holding, waiting for 100 Thieves to make a mistake. Zeppa and Zelsa are both arcade now. Zeppa uses his last Prowler arcade and then sprints away to take the rope. At first glance, this may seem like a useless play, but Zeppa's intention was to pretend he's faking arcade. Basically, he throws a Prowler to show presence, then audibly runs away. He's making it seem like he's throwing util to fake noise arcade. Zeppa knows 100 Thieves will eagerly take any map control they get, so his hope is that 100 Thieves player will hear all that, think they found a good flank timing, push up, and then get punished by Zelsus who has posted sewers in an off angle. But 100 Thieves already have 3 players stacked towards B, so they don't need to make any aggressive plays. Unlucky for Zeppa, his 300 IQ bait play didn't work this time. Keep in mind, 100 Thieves can only stack like this because Cryo is holding the entire A side of the map by himself. His trip is holding Dish, and he's holding deep A main control with his op. It's been quiet for too long, Cloud9 realized 100 Thieves are more disciplined than they thought, so they begin working map control. A starts walking up dish, Zeppa starts working A main. He's making some noise to draw attention towards A since Cloud9 have the spike towards B. What we see from a lot of teams sitting back on site and going, oh, where are they going? What are they doing? What are they doing? Cryo doesn't get scanned by the eye. He still has full control of A main. Cryo's telling his team, the eye was a fake. There's no one in A main. My trip is still up. Cloud9 have to be ending B. And his read is right. Cloud9 are regrouping for a B hit with Ye lurking dish. Seeing them adjust their game plan. It can just make you that little bit more uncomfortable and test you in a way you're not expecting. With around 40 seconds left and just a read to go off of, Stellar pops his KO ult, suppressing Cloud9 before they can execute. Bang also smokes off Arcade and B main, locking Cloud9 out of B. 30 seconds left. Ye is lurked up all the way dish. He hasn't triggered the trip yet, so 100 Thieves don't know he's there. Because he's maintaining this control for Cloud9, they have the last second option of pivoting to an A hit through dish. This is why map control is so important. Cloud9 called it end A, 3 dish and 1 A main. He can even just get a pick here. He's in a good spot for the retake. Oh, yeah, trap is on drop. It's actually letting them out before slowing, and oh, that could cause some problems. The, you saw just there. We almost lost Ye. That up shot off by a pixel. Ye, well, he might make it away, but for how long? Couple of a 2v3 now in favor of Cloud9. Crowd's fishing for a pick. Stellar's coming in from Dish. They know what's on the other side, and they're going to make 100 Thieves make that move with the man, man disadvantage. Yeah, this is the thing. That aggression back in towards the spawn, finding them two kills, gave them a chance, but that one's for free. It's such a late push from Stella that they don't expect it. Cryo's found another. It's left down to just Vanity. The one versus one. He's run out of bullets. He sat on the top of the side. Both players so desperately low, and a single bullet to either side could do it, but I think the time is gone. Cryo's got no time to defuse. Cloud9 take the round. That was so well played from Vanity at the end. With 48 health and no bullets, he understood that his win condition wasn't to kill Cryo, but to stall for time. He made himself so hard to kill and successfully ran down the clock. Beautifully played by Vanity. Cloud9 open with a dish heavy default. They have three dish and two south spawn. One player holding each of the mains. 100 Thieves open with two arcade and a trip holding B main. They want to get Cryo set up arcade with his op. On the A side, 100 Thieves are doubled up sand with one playing site. Bang's just out in the open right now to be in range to smoke tree off the bat. The round starts, leave Roomba's dish. Asuna Roomba's A main. Zeppa fade eyes up high. It gets instantly broken. Gonna have the operator for this round, although yay is just one kill away from that. The Roomba sees nothing. Asuna takes a free aim in orb. At the same time towards B, Stellar KO knives deep bench. The knife scans nothing. Krau safely gets set up on the deep angle with his op. Stellar then rotates away. Look at this. Cloud9 have a trip for B main in an op holding arcade. Cryo is literally holding control of the entirety of B side by himself, allowing 100 Thieves to force stack A and play retake on B. Meanwhile, Cloud9 slowly works up dish like really slowly. From Bang's perspective, he knows that 100 Thieves have full control of A main. Cryo is holding on to B by himself, and 100 Thieves are playing retake there anyways, so he doesn't need to smoke B. Process of elimination, Cloud9 are probably dish, so Bang smokes off drop, and it ends up being a perfect smoke, completely stomping Cloud9 in their tracks. Well, no need to cry over spoiled milk. Cloud9 decisively called to plant leaf at dish to maintain that control while the rest of the team start working back B. Three players of Cloud9 are grouped up north spawn. They want to execute B through arcade. Cryo, who's holding arcade alone is about to find himself in a 1v3. Map, unless you're going to go push all four yeah. avenues as a defender, you kind of have to pick your fights. And as you can see, what their hope is here, Cryo can try and find an opening duel or Asuna on the other side. 
We're taking one lane aggressive, one lane passive. Crowd dodges all the fade you tell. Will Conan expect him there? Can land his mark when they do start to come forward. A few misses, and that jump caught him off guard. The shot He's through the legs. There. Now he's under a lot of pressure, but he doesn't leave until he finds that kill. Wow, Cryo pushing Chamber to its absolute limits. Cloud9 invested a fade eye, a prowler, a jump peek, breach flash, and fade ult before double peeking to push Cryo back and he still manages to get a kill before safely TPing away. Thank god Riot Nerf Chamber. Off all that noise, Under Thieves A main players immediately regroup as three and begin flanking. To try and clear him and it's not enough and just look at the flank, the pushes on the other side just haven't been seen. Ye is gone, they have to try and deal with this and they just can't. The trades from 100 Thieves are sublime, even trying to just force them out of these corner cells is just stuck in the mud. Needing oh. to find a kill in the nade, just perfectly placed to clear him from position. Vanity in a 1v3 realizes it's looking pretty unwinnable and decides to save his rifle and brim ult. Cloud9's back on a save. Vanity gifted his rifle to Leaf and Ye has his chamber ult. The star fraggers of Cloud9 are lethally equipped. Can they use this to create an upset? Cloud9 open with 3 dish and 2A main. The game plan is simple, work towards an A split. Under Thieves open with 2B and 3A. They're back to their usual setup. The barriers drop, Bang smokes off tree. Stellar throws his Kale knife. <laughs> <laughs> but he misses his mark, so of course it doesn't scan anything. No worries, Under Thieves just wanted to establish some B main presence before backing off. Bang is playing top gen, Stellar is shifting to CT. They're playing so far back because they see that Cloud9 have Brimo and Razal. The B site is definitely not safe, so they're just playing full retake. Now the real action is towards A. Off the start, Leaf Roomba's dish, Asuna Roomba's A main. Derek has his stun out, ready to stun off the Roomba's contact. Kind of expected. When it comes to that attacking side, always going to be more difficult for him to find those opens. Stun goes off a main. Asuna throws a satchel for more cover before taking this opening to snag the all orb. Meanwhile, three players of Cloud9 silently walk up dish. It's Cryo in a 1v3 again. Asuna again and again just taking that A main orb. Cryo though, he's been a nuisance and well. Cryo draws first blood. Stellar starts shifting towards A off the pick. Cloud9 is down numbers. They need to do something to stabilize the round. Ye says to his team, don't worry fam, let me cook. From afar, they didn't expect him anywhere near that close. Yeah, that's, uh, it looks a little silly when you're not, uh, <laughs> when you're not playing with X-Ray and you don't know that they're holding the angle waiting for you to walk on in. Ye has been forced back here. But with this weapon, he's more than happy to swing. Ye forces a pick. Derek's like, oh hell no you're getting away with that, and unleashes his breach ult. Duna pays the price in blood, but a rolling thunder in, and Derek is- Derek goes crazy and kills two. 4v2 in favor of 100 Thieves. Conan's dish players know they need to activate now. They flood out from dish. He sees, but he sees the day with a quick kill. A double, and Cryo tries to replicate. He might not find it, but while the stun is near perfect, the spike is down, and they know exactly where Zelsus is. Got the spike. spike will be received. Oh. The pop flash almost kills him off. And they're going to start pressuring. Paranoia used as well. There's so much utility on Celsius. Position almost manages to come out with a double. The second goes his way, and that's the rolling thunder. A chance to isolate this duel. And Celsius with the 1v3 clutch to steal the round. Clown 9 wins their save round. All right, observers, I know that was a sick clutch and all, but please cut the replay like five seconds earlier. We're thrown right into the round, but it's okay. We can make this work. Cloud9 open with an arcade heavy default. Three arcade, two south side holding for pushes. 100 Thieves open with 2B and 3A. Except unlike their usual 2B, 3A setup, Cryo and Bang swap sites. Cryo has his chamber up online. He's posted arcade from top gen. He has his chamber trip on site to help support Stellar, who's going to be playing heaven. So it looks like off the start, Stellar throws his cross map Kale knife A main. Zelsa dodges a knife, it scans nothing. So Asuna grabs the all orb main. Meanwhile in arcade, Cloud9 begin working up. They fade eye up high, the eye sees nothing. They prowler close, the prowler catches nothing. Cloud9 call to explode on a B. They drop smokes on sight. But... Oh, this That's is good. Is there a stun? No. Oh! Beautiful flick from Cryo. He's still holding the angle. He sees nothing. Stellar looks to make a play heaven. He sees nothing. He quietly backs off. Cloud9 are down a player. They need to make a play to stabilize the round. Ye's going, chill fam. Let me cook. They win the next one right back. No problems at all. So there needs to be a response here from Cloud9. Yeah, how many times have we seen? Oh, hold on, that off fight. Cryo 
was able to take that opening duel, but they punish. One for one trade. Cloud9 are still down numbers, and Noise was just made B side. So Zelsis starts walking up A main to find a pick, but there are 200 Thieves players still on A. Moments ago, but the reposition caught them off guard. One for one trade once again. The last two Cloud9 players are running towards A. Stellar, with balls of steel, aggresses B main alone and finds an amazing timing. He's taken so much space, allowing 100 Thieves to keep two towards A side. They've got to move quickly. Otherwise, the information will fall completely out of their hands. Yeah, it's looked a little disjointed in this round so far. 1v1 duels being taken and a lot of them going the way of 100 Thieves. I think he might have even spotted him oh, over great. there. I think they know there's a man in this corner. Vanity is going to dodge the utility. He's got his orbital strike. He's just going to try and force them back, give them a chance to get into some better after plant positions. He's now crossed to main. Asuna and Derek are just holding Sans control together. They're waiting for Stellar to fully rotate the dish before retaking together with their numbers advantage. This flank, well, it, they certainly know about it by now, but no fade utility to play up against. And they've dealt with Zeppa immediately. Vanity, he's got a molly, but... And what can he really do with this? They're going to force him out of that corner or just go swinging on in. Solid retake from 100 Thieves. Cloud9 want to stop 100 Thieves' momentum before it snowballs out of control. So they call it to Force Buy this round. It's a risky gamble. If Cloud9 loses Force Buy, which is likely since they still have worse weapons, they're going to end this half down 4 to 8 or 3 to 9. But it's a risk they're willing to take because if they win, a 6 6 half actually becomes a reality. How will they approach this round? Cloud9 open with 4 B main and 1 dish. They want B main control. Zep is working dish alone to make some noise, get some info and map control if it's free. You know, the usual. 100 Thieves open with 2 B and 3 A again. Their standard setup. The barriers drop, Stellar throws the Kale Knight deep tree. Cloud9 instantly breaks it. Bang smokes off tree. It's 100 Thieves standard way of showing B main presence. Bang and Stellar then both back off. They're the weak side of the map. They don't want to get too aggressive. Meanwhile towards A, Asuna Roomba's A main off the bat. The Roomba sees nothing. So Asuna farms the alt orb, raise alt, online for 100 thieves. Back towards B, the majority of Cloud9 are behind the tree smoke. They don't want to waste too much time just sitting there, so leaf Roombas through the smoke. Cloud9 swings through with the Roomba. They reclaim control of B main. Ye's like, good stuff boys, now go do something else. Let me cook. So Vandy and Zelsis leave to start working back A. We'll see where they decide to deploy it. We've seen some attempts at having control previously, but look how passive 100 Thieves are. Ye finds a pick. Cryo immediately begins rotating over to B. Cloud9 smokes off Jen, making it seem like a hit's gonna come from Arcade, when in reality, Cloud9 are sitting still. They know from experience that when a pick like this happens, 100 Thieves tend to get aggressive A main. Cloud9 have three players self spawn, just holding for a push. And it looks like the read is right. They're on the back foot now. And they're re-aggressing elsewhere. The thing is, the weaponry on the other players, not the best. Setup gonna be there. Fast and a good counter flash to try to slow him down. In fact, most of them have been able to retreat. That kill should be for free though. Zeppa not gonna be able to escape, but they might be able to put some pressure back on. Somehow he's still surviving. Just 27 HP, finally. Leaf will put him in the dirt and this showstopper actually just gonna be reclaiming A main. The dust settles, it's a 3v3. Cloud9 are doubled up A main, ready to fight if 100 Thieves wanna keep brawling. But 100 Thieves have had enough. They're chilling back on sight and spawn. But look, somehow Zelsus is all the way up arcade. Wait, wasn't he just south spawn? How did he get this timing? Elsewhere. The thing is, the weaponry on the other players, not the best. Setup gonna be there. Fast. No way! Zelsus flashed for his team and then just dipped. <laughs> But because of that decision, he finds his insane timing in Arcade. Will Cryo be aware of it? They got 30 seconds. 30 seconds yeah, th th Zelsus takes down Cryo. B site is completely open. Zelsus comes to his team. I have B, come B, come B. The rest of Cloud9 sprinted back B. But 100 Thieves know what's happening. They also full sprint to B. A potential second off to hold that angle on the cross, but it's just going to be spotted. Ye's on his way. Smoke not going to do too much to deter him. A good stun. But Bang's done well to sidestep it, and he knows this player's up in heaven. He's waiting for that swing, isolates the fight. Paranoia's going out, it's landed, but Ye still gets the shot off! Oh, a wall bang from Derek! And Cloud9 take the round. Their gamble forced by paid off. They're back in the game. 100 Thieves take a timeout. So because Ye was the only one that survived last round, Cloud9 actually can't afford a full buy. They use up all their credits and honestly, their buy actually isn't the worst. A op, two rifles, a bulldog, and a specter. As for 100 Thieves, they managed to squeeze out their life savings to have just enough for a full buy. Both teams have used up all their credits. This means whoever loses this round will go into the next round, the last round of the half, 
completely broke. Cloud9 opened with four south spawn and one dish. They want to do an A main heavy default. 100 Thieves opened with a four stack towards A. They have three players about to explosively aggress dish. And Cryo is holding A main with his op. How will Cloud9 respond to this four stack? and at what cost. Put pressure on B and start to really commit. Those pushes come through on A main. Now this time, a bit of a different play coming out of 100 Thieves. A very aggressive one. This is like the pistol all over again. Leaf takes his zipline and escapes with his life. He's telling his team, they're pushing dish, they're pushing dish. Usually when a team is aggressing one side of the map, the other side is weak. So since 100 Thieves are heavy dish, Cloud9 identifies that A main is probably weak. But little do Cloud9 know, Cryo, 100 Thieves' fourth A player, is opping A main. Cloud9 triple swings, Zelsus gets picked off. But Crowd didn't TP out yet. He's fishing for more. He's able to make it out. But unfortunately, as they try to take space elsewhere, they run into Cryo, who hasn't been forced to use his anchor. Eventually he is, and he's pushed out, smoked out, off on play a roll, but a rolling thunder will delay them and allow a retake of the site before the plan even comes in. And this is the thing, they, they don't really have the ultimates to clear anything out, they can't throw in an ult to strike oh! to move them before HP on Cryo. He'll go down. Now Arsena has made his way back around. Colony have sand and a main control, but 100 Thieves have them completely surrounded. Both sides are in a stalemate, waiting for the other to make a mistake. Derek's still within the site. And actually, C9 have sort of paused here. The timing's not worked out, though. Just about being able to cling on to life. And in the meantime, Bang's starting to wrap around. 4v2 in favor of 100 Thieves. Cloud9 is surrounded in trap sands. This is a disaster for Cloud9. To wrap around, they're being pincered in. The spike has dropped. And although oh, well, I mean, I guess Cloud9 can just win their 1v1s. 2v2 now. Rules are going the way of C9. They need to get back in for that spike. And they have. They know the bang's coming from Back this angle. Maybe a little closer than expected, oh. but a quick shot from Ye. What did I just witness? 100 Thieves started that round so well with that three-man dish aggression, which baited Cloud9 right into their op A main. They were a bit too early on their fast retake timing, though, and Cloud9 were able to escape the breach out. But it's okay. 100 Thieves were able to reclaim control of sight and push Cloud9 back with that. Cryo, with 4 HP, was holding Sans control, and Vanity just kicked down the door and easily put him to bed with one bullet of a Spectre. This gave Cloud9 control of Sans in A main, but all this stalled enough time for Bang's flank to find its mark, which turned it into a 4v2 for 100 Thieves. It looked like 100 Thieves were guaranteed to win, but Leaf and Ye literally just isolated 1v1s and won all their gunfights. Every single one. I guess strats are cool and all, but as Cloud9 just demonstrated, sometimes all you gotta do is win your duels. It's the last round of the half. Both teams are buying out. But because Under Thieves lost the previous round, they are now on a really weak force buy. Cloud9 with a major weapons advantage in this final round. I honestly can't believe it. Under Thieves had such a dominant start, but now it looks like Cloud9 could actually salvage this situation and turn it into a 6 6 half. Cloud9 opened with 2 north spawn and 3 south spawn. They have Breach all online this round, so they want to keep it simple. Hold for pushes for the first few seconds before executing B through B main. Under Thieves opened with their standard 3A setup. 2B players playing on site. I wonder how they're gonna deal with the breach ult. The round starts, Zeb a fade eyes arcade before immediately running away. He's trying to make it obvious that all he's doing is making fake noise B in hopes that under thieves may not expect a B hit to come right after. Stella throws a cross map KO knife to A main. The knife scans nothing A main, so Asuna hops across to grab the free ult orb. Cloud9 have 4 south spawn now, 2 towards B and 2 towards A. Leaf Roombas through the tree smoke, B main control is Cloud9. Zeb a fade prowls A main to make a bit of noise towards A, while while Vanity takes a zipline to regroup with the team. The game plan still hasn't changed. Cloud9 want to end B. As the rest build in to be a good call with the weak economy of their opponents. Well, the smoke's just gone down. That'll make things a little bit more awkward. Oh, Stellar's flashes have been on point. Good nade. That's going to slow them, but not leap. He's already gone right through, cleared a lot of space for them. Stellar stunned up, and the nade is perfect, precise. At his feet, dealing damage, taking Cryo down. And Cloud9 cleanly take the site. 5v3 in favor of Cloud9. Warner and C9. Well, they are very much on track for the 6-6. Another kill to come through. Leaf was robbed as Ye hit a shot through the smoke. Yeah, bang. We'll spot out a little bit of information, but it, it almost comes down to him. Derek left with just a pistol. To find anything into this round now would be a miracle. Here. As they are locked out of the site, everybody patiently waiting. At a Cloud9 flawlessly take the round. They were down 1-4, to four, but they clawed their way back up round by round to tie up the score.